Hey, what's up? It's your boy, uh, Skinny Penis. <laughs> hey, it's your boy, Skinny Penis. Hey, what's up, guys? Sausage here. Today, I'm bringing you this comprehensive guide for Breachers VR that even the Fortnite kids should understand. This includes all the info I feel is relevant to being able to just pick up the game and play it. Breachers VR is a 5 vs 5 competitive shooter founded upon the basics of Rainbow Six Siege, but adding in the economy and menu sections of CSGO. Let's start with the basic controls. Use the left joystick to move around. Use the right joystick to virtually turn your character or to crouch. Pressing in the left joystick will allow you to sprint, and auto sprinting can be turned on in the settings. Be careful, running around causes a lot of noise. They're in the walls, they can hear you. Crouch to be more quiet, or just walk slower. Below you, there is a small white square that is your player's feet. Moving around in real life will cause the character to lean, or you could just lean in real life like the real pros do. Breakable windows are blacked out and have a big R on them. They can be broken by punching them with your fist or with the butt of your gun. They can also be shot open. The grappling hook, a free gadget for all enforcers. It's as easy to use as a click of a button, literally. Approach a wall with your hand up towards where you want it to attach, then hold your trigger button down. A red or green line will appear. If it's red, you're either too close or too far from the wall. When it turns green, let go. You can swing into an open or closed window by pressing the crouch button. The EMP is your primary objective as the enforcers. Reach either site A or B, then plant the EMP. To plant it, hold the device in your hand, press trigger to activate it, and then put it on the wall. A blue ghost of the device will appear where it will attach. Let it go. Then grab the wheel and turn it, matching the frequency. This must be done three times to arm the device, and it also must be done three times to disarm the device for the team of the revolters. Use the upper button on either controller while pointing somewhere to ping that location. A numbered ping will show, and you can see that number on the scoreboard as well beside your name. Use the lower button on either controller to eject the magazine from your gun. Magazine location varies by gun. After ejecting a magazine, the gun can be reloaded by grabbing a mag from your left side pouch, then inserting into the mag well. Pistols. The Jesper, resembling the G17. This is your all reliable, your free starting pistol. With 12 in the magazine and 36 in the pouch, it's capable of attaching a sight, a suppressor, and a laser. You'll have plenty of ammo for pistol rounds, and as an emergency secondary. This pistol takes two shots to the head and a minimum of five shots to the chest, giving it a time to kill of roughly half a second. The Spectral, resembling a kel P50. This is your not-so-friendly quiet killer, costing only 500 points, with 15 rounds in the mag and 35 in the pouch, Capable of attaching only a sight or a laser, you'll have plenty of ammo for the pistol round. This pistol comes equipped with a built-in suppressor, and it takes two shots to the head, with a minimum of five shots to the chest, giving it a time to kill of half a second. The Cyclone, resembling a CZ-75 Auto, this is your go-to pistol for any easy win. Costing only 500 points, with 12 in the magazine and 36 in the pouch, Capable of attaching a suppressor, laser, and a sight, you'll only have a limited amount of ammo, so make your shots count. This pistol takes only two shots to the head and a minimum of five shots to the chest, giving this automatic pistol a time to kill of only 0.36 seconds, or a little over a third of a second. The Taurus. Resembling the Colt Anaconda, this pistol is your big bulky revolver. Costing 800 points with only 6 rounds in the cylinder and 18 in the pouch. It's capable of attaching a laser and a sight. You'll have a limited supply of ammo to use. This pistol only takes 1 shot to the head and a minimum of 3 shots to the chest. Giving this revolver a time to kill of .44 seconds. Which is funny because it's chambered in 44. SMGs. The Omen resembling the MP5K. 
This automatic SMG, known as the Dome and Omen, cost 1100 points. With 20 rounds in the magazine and 60 in the pouch, it's capable of attaching an extended magazine, a foregrip, a suppressor, a laser, and a sight. You'll be carrying the least amount of ammo between all of the SMGs. This SMG takes two shots to the head and a minimum of six shots to the chest, giving it a time to kill of 0.31 seconds or about a third of a second. The Viper. Resembling the Chris Vector, this automatic SMG is any good Breacher's tactical friend. Costing 1,600 points with 30 rounds in the magazine and 90 in the pouch. Capable of attaching an extended magazine, suppressor, laser, and a sight, you'll have more than enough ammo to clear the field. This SMG takes two shots to the head and a minimum of six shots to the chest, giving it a time to kill of 0.4 seconds. The RCP. Resembling the FMP90, but this automatic SMG is the talk of the town when it comes to the fire rate. Costing 1800 points, carrying 40 rounds in the magazine and 120 in the pouch, capable of attaching a suppressor, laser, and sight, you'll have well over enough ammo to deal with your enemies. This SMG takes two rounds to the head and a minimum of six rounds to the chest, giving it a time to kill of 0.32 seconds, or slightly less than a third of a second. Rifles. The Cadillo, or as I like to call it, the Quesadilla, resembles the FN Scar 17S. This semi-auto rifle is your precision range rifle, costing 2200 points with 12 rounds in the magazine and 36 in the pouch. It's capable of attaching an extended mag, foregrip, suppressor, laser, and a sight. You'll have just enough ammo to pick off your enemies at range. This rifle takes only one shot to the head and a minimum of three shots to the chest, giving it a time to kill of 0.33 seconds. The Oral, looking like a heavily modified Crytek Trident Mark II. This automatic rifle is the little cousin of the Vezin. Costing 2200 points, with 30 rounds in the mag and 90 in the pouch, it's capable of attaching an extended magazine, a foregrip, a suppressor, a laser, and a sight. This gun has enough ammo and firepower to clear a hallway. The rifle takes two shots to the head and a minimum of five shots to the body, giving it a time to kill of 0.38 seconds. The Vezin, resembling the Sig Sauer NCX Virtus, this is the big daddy of the rifles. Costing 2,900 points with 30 rounds in the mag and 90 in the pouch. Capable of attaching an extended mag, foregrip, suppressor, laser, and a sight. You have every breacher's most desired rifle and possibly control over a section of the map. This rifle takes one shot to the head and a minimum of four shots to the body, giving it a time to kill of 0.29 seconds, which is the fastest in the game. The Marui. Resembling a modified PDW-57, which you might know from Call of Duty, this is the Vezin's annoying little brother. Costing 2,900 points, with 25 rounds in the mag and 75 in the pouch, is capable of attaching an extended magazine, a foregrip, a suppressor, a laser, and a sight. You have a compact rifle that's good at CQC. This rifle takes one shot to the head and a minimum of four shots to the chest, giving it a time to kill of one third of a second. The Canute. Resembling the Remington 700 short, this is the long barrel shotgun for shots that need a little more range. The shotgun costs 2100 points, with 5 rounds in the mag and 15 in the pouch. Capable of attaching a laser or a sight, this shotgun is good at clearing enemies one at a time. Shooting only 7 pellets per shot, this shotgun takes one well placed shot to the head or chest at a close to medium range, capable of firing one round per second. The Uracon. Resembling a modified AA-12, this is the auto shoddy that can clear any room with some decent aim. The shotgun costs 2200 points, with 7 rounds in the mag and 21 in the pouch. Capable of attaching a foregrip, a laser, and a sight, this shotgun can shock even the most experienced players, shooting 13 pellets per shot, which spread a bit more than the canoe. This shotgun in CQC takes one shot to the head and two to the chest capable of firing three rounds per second. Gadgets. The top four gadgets are used by both teams. The bottom four gadgets are specialized for either team, the revolters or the enforcers. Only the enforcers can use the breaching foam, the flashbang, the cloaking device, and the drone. 
Only the revolters can use the trip wire, the static field emitter, the proxy sensor, and the door blocker. The frag grenade, costing 300 points, can be activated with the trigger and then thrown. It'll explode, dealing damage to anyone in the area, friend or foe. The smoke grenade, costing 200 points, can be activated with trigger and then thrown. It'll explode into a pretty ball of smoke, blocking everybody's sight to the area. The incendiary grenade, costing 200 points, can be activated with the trigger and then thrown. Will explode into a big carpet of fire, burning and blocking off the area. The heal syringe, costing 300 points, can be activated with trigger, then stabbed into the player, being you or an ally, anywhere on the body. Can only be used twice. Orange light means it's ready to go, green light is active, red light means it's still charging. It will heal 20 health immediately and then tick up over time. Revolters. The tripwire, costing 200 points, can be activated with the trigger, then placed on any surface. It emits a laser, which upon crossing will cause the device to explode, killing or hurting anybody in the area. The static field emitter, costing 200 points, can be activated with the trigger, then thrown or dropped onto an area. It will extend the carpet of electricity, which upon contact slows and damages the enemy. It can also block off access to areas. Use wisely. It can be shot out via the small glowing triangle on top of it. it only takes one well-placed shot. The proximity sensor, costing 400 points, can be activated with trigger, then placed on any surface. When an enemy comes within line of sight of the device, it will sound a loud alarm, alerting your team to the enemy's presence. It only takes one shot to be shot down. The door blocker, costing 400 points, can be activated with trigger, then placed on either side of the door or window frame. Will erect an orange wall of light, blocking enemy movement and cannot be shot through. In order to break down off of the wall, the blocker itself must be shot off of the door frame. Enforcers, breaching foam, costing 200 points, can be sprayed onto any surface with the big X. These are the destructible walls or hatches. After enough foam has been sprayed, a red button will pop up on the device. Press that button down to explode the foam. But beware, standing too close to the explosion will cause you damage, and they can be used up to three times. The flashbang, costing 200 points, can be activated with the trigger and then thrown. It'll explode into a bright ball of white light, blinding anyone unlucky enough to see it, friend or foe. The cloaking device, costing 400 points, can be activated with trigger. It'll engulf the player in a bright bluish light, making them almost invisible to the enemy. Green light means it's ready to be used. Red light means it's still charging. It has an unlimited amount of uses. The drone, costing 400 points, can be activated with trigger and then thrown. After a second or two, your body will be frozen in place vulnerable to attack, while you're put in control of the drone. Same controls as the ghost or spectator, triggers to move up and down, joystick to move around. Can be used for vision into a room or to clear halls for your teammate. Gadgets dropped by players, friend or foe, can be picked up and used, excluding the specialized gadgets of the opposing team. And that's it. If you could think of anything else, leave it down in the comments below. Please don't forget to like the video, and if you enjoyed the content, please subscribe. Hope to see you guys later on the bomb site.